start from new assembly again then press escape button import the gears if you had um, designed the gears in um, separately or by yourself uh, in SOLIDWORKS but I, ha um, I have another option to import the gears uh, that go to design library then select toolbox and then uh, from here uh, click on this add in now because add in uh, toolbox add in is not turned on so to turn it on click on this button now from here select the uh, standard so let's select um, ANSI metric then from here power transmission then these are the gears so here are the type of gears uh, let's say I'm going to use helical gear click and drag it into the assembly and wait for a while so here you can see these are the options related with the gear so this is the module let's select module uh, module 2 then uh, after the module we have number of teeth option let's select uh, number of teeth 20 then uh, helix direction right hand or left hand so select right hand for this then this is the pressure angle or helix angle this is pressure angle and this is face width um, let's say one zero millimeter is the face width and uh, this is hub style one side both sides so uh, choose your desired hub diameter uh, let's say uh, four zero millimeter this is the overall length of hub and it uh, should be two zero millimeter and uh, this is the nominal shaft diameter so this this diameter nominal shaft meter select it uh, let's say um, let's say one five millimeter and again scroll down keyway if you want to uh, create keyway scare 1 or scare 2 select your desired keyway then show teeth 20 and press ok button now we had created this gear by using design library again we have another uh, we have to import another gear so for that again click on design library here then click and drag helical gear leave all the settings as they are according to this gear but instead of uh, helix direction change it from right to left now press ok button now again press uh, escape button so first of all we have to hide this sketch so right click on this sketch and then hide it similarly hide this sketch hide it Now uh, if you can see uh, I am able to move this part but I am unable to move this part because this part is fixed. So to make it float right click on it then select float. Now um, let's make some mates. So for that um, select right plane then select mate then select this face and press ok button. Then make the coincident mate then press ok button again again select this face and press and hold control key then select this face now select coincident mate now you can see uh, I can um, rotate this part and if when I try to rotate this part the part is uh, moving instead of rotating so for that um, click on right plane then sketch on it make normal to and then draw a line start it from origin like this press escape button then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode then um, click and drag this gear to align it with the another gear like this now again select this line and edit its sketch 
Now Kuli can drag this line like this. Uh, just uh, we have we have to align uh, this line perpendicular or vertical to the uh, center of this circle. Then right click on this uh, or right click or just click on this point then make it fixed. Now save and exit from sketch mode then select this point then this cylindrical face. Release the control key and from here select concentric mate. Again press a space key then select this view orientation rotate the gears to align them like this <clears throat> so now we have uh, fully defined uh, the uh, assembly of these two gears so click on this line and hide it now it's time to make the gear mate for both of these gears so for that click on mate scroll down and from here uh, mechanical mates select gear mate select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face select the ratio from here so uh, if you have one one ratio we have one one ratio for both of these gears because uh, both of these gears are of the same size then um, do not check this option reverse and press ok button again press ok button now rotate one gear and you can see we are able to uh, make the gear mates in solid bikes.